Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Hypermind FTB Infinity Evolve server. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm holding a sleeping bag in my hand because it was just nighttime. So we've turned it today. So what are we going to do? Well, before we get into the heart of today's episode, I am going to back up here away from the portal and take a little bit of time just to say something that I usually say at the end of episodes, and that is, I want to thank you very much for taking some time today to spend with me. I know that it is a precious resource, there's not a lot of it, and uh, you certainly could be using it on other things, other projects, various, various things like that. So, I don't take it lightly, I don't take it for granted, and I want to make sure that you are getting something in return, and that by the end of it, you are educated, or entertained or inspired and if you are to that regard do let me know in the comment section down below or on twitter at mc soap the great i've really been enjoying the interaction lately both down there in the comments and on twitter it's just been really good community starting to to really come alive and uh, I'm, I'm enjoying it so anyway now what are we going to be doing today well first and foremost i am going to get back into my standard stuff here and we're going to be showing you a few things, and there might be a few spoilers here in my inventory as well. We're going to put the sleeping bag away, we're going to bring out the resonant exchanger, and we're going to walk over to our project area. Let me just preface this or just give you an update. So last time we were together, I think I mentioned the issue that I had found with the world anchor. That is that it was in the wrong spot right? It was in the wrong chunk. It was in a chunk that uh, I thought kept the reactor loaded. And in fact, the reactor was not loading. So uh, my Skystone B wasn't producing. Now that I've got the world loader in the correct spot, the Skystone B has been producing and it has been producing well. You can see the results of it right here. I also happen to be hiding a little something that I'm going to show you in just a moment. It's back behind me. And the more astute amongst you will be looking at the map in the top right corner and seeing a little something something there. But uh, you can see that the wall is done all the way around. Take a look at that. Yeah. So the Skystone B is producing somewhere on the order of a thousand blocks a day. And it has been a while since I recorded. You might not have noticed anything because I did a bunch of batch recording at the end of January. And... Yeah, so this is just coming in the long line of batch recorded and edited videos. So not much for you there. We've got over a thousand blocks of Skystone coming in per day, and I've been able to fill this out. I'm going to show you how I've been doing that on the Castle Keep. But before we do that, we're going to take a little look at the ground because I want to hide something from you. And we're going to set up today's project in terms of uh, why we're doing what we're doing. Okay, so you know over here we've got an ME system. I moved it from a hill that's back behind me, and I'm not going to show you. And uh, we've had a few changes since the last time we were together. I put in another row of uh, deep storage units and uh, another networking subset. We've got some packed ice there, and I'll get into that next episode. But for now, we've got this ME system hanging out right here. And this is not the ideal location. No, this is there's no building around it. The pathway goes right through it. We've got a path going right here. We've got a potential path going over here. Yeah, it's this is not ideal. I want a better place for it, and I already had a place picked out. It's on the hill behind me. That's right. Well, yep, it's on the hill behind me. So let's take a look. Again, our theme in this in this base is medieval castle okay right we've got nice little castle wall coming up all around and you're probably yelling at me now soap just turn around just turn around this is the first time that i have shown this on camera are you ready we've got a building i went ahead and built it boom what do you think this is going to be the location of my sorting and storage and auto crafting area okay it's a medieval, I, I don't know, it's kind of inspired by a few different things that I've seen on the Reddit 
and on uh, actually Hector Vink's tutorial lately about a medieval house. Yeah, so put some concepts together and again we're using our color scheme, our, our color palette with the spruce logs and dark oak wood, dark oak planks and still not working in any color in particular, no color blocks and I don't know if we will, I think we'll keep it kind of like this, it'll be kind of dark, gray, kind of muted, um, very earthy tones uh, and that's the feel that we're gonna go for. Up here at the top you can see we've got the theme from the greenhouse going with the large brick sky stone and uh, that is a carpenter's block and we've got the car our chiseled what are they iron bars right there on the front so same as what you would see over in that that greenhouse over there we've, we're continuing that theme right here so the windows are forged micro blocks and you can see right here kind of doing the same thing up on the top floor I wanted I didn't want the dark brown because you see that in the roof I wanted a little bit a um, little bit of contrast there so I brought in the spruce planks and then up here on the front we've got a couple of planters and we'll go inside in just a moment and show you what's been going on in there but there's the roof detail uh, it's not quite like what I saw in Hector's video I wanted something that had a fairly shallow curve at the bottom and then did more of a more of an exponential type curve at the top and so you can see that I think I've got that right where I want it on the edge here bringing in some more details from the sky stone and these are painted bricks are painted uh, this is cobblestone wall that's been painted with sky stone and this is oak fence that's been painted with sky stone and that's the smooth texture remember we did the sky or the painter last time it's currently doing some dark oak wood and that's for today's project so here's the back elevation of the house you can see a little bit of the project inside that we're going to be working on off camera okay uh, and I'll, I'll explain that a little bit later but there's the back elevation and we've got our foundation down here still haven't figured out the flooring inside but let's go inside without any further ado I've brought up the elevation here for the, the uh, what is this the landscaping so it was it wasn't a hill that went down to the wall and I've just brought all of that dirt up I have plenty of dirt from the various mining things that we've done so let's go inside we've got carpenters what are those pressure plates and a carpenter's garage door that hides everything let's come off that plate there we go so it's kind of a false front once you come out here you can see that it just blends in got the same same type of texture all the way around so there we go the regular sky stone or smooth sky stone on the bottom and the top and the big sky stone brick on the edges just to provide a little bit of a difference from the flooring material and the castle wall just to break it up so what we're gonna do eventually is put our storage system in here so that ME system is gonna go oh let's get off the pressure plate that ME system is gonna go right here so the the terminals go on this column and this column and the current drives are gonna go right here and I'm gonna fill in some more drives here because we've got a lot more quarrying to do but let's go back here I've got a little uh, little garage door there to hide access to back here and then we've got an auto crafting setup it's not hooked up this is the auto crafting cube that I am stealing from Ballantine and we're gonna hook that up once we get everything in here and then we're gonna have the what is it the the controller network up here as well and that's gonna be going off into various hidden cables and and whatnot all around to the different things around here so like the auto smelting and and all of that so yeah I would love to know what you think about this overall design I'm going to be going with that Ooh, little lag spike there. I'm going to be going with this. going to be filling in the buildings all around. And uh, yeah, so do let me know what you think of that. See if you have any potential improvements to this, I would love to hear about them. We're using some forge micro blocks here to get things that look like half slabs. These are actual half slabs. So we take a slab and we cut it in half. That's a half slab right there. 
It's also called a pillar block here in Forge Microblocks. But do let me know what you think. I would love to hear from you. Now, let's take a look at how I've been doing the wall. And we, we've got a resonant exchanger. This is something I also saw from Valentine. It's still a lot from him, actually. Whole that uh, reactor and then the auto crafting. And anyway, the resonant exchanger also comes from him. So what you do is you, you sneak or shift key and then you right click on the block that you want to replace into other blocks. And there we go. So I've set it to the small skystone brick. I've got a bunch here in my inventory, not tons, but enough to get the idea across. And you come up to what you want to replace and you just right click and there you go. And if you look in your inventory now, you've got a bunch of cobblestone. So there's now 25 cobblestone where there used to be 25 uh, skystone brick. And you just do this all the way around. So that's what I've been doing on the wall. I'm not going to do the rest of this here. I will do that off camera. And as we build the buildings, I may start out with cobblestone. I may just build them uh, as, as we see fit with this this overall look and feel. So over here, it's kind of boring. The castle keep is boring. We're gonna be mixing in some wood textures and stuff, but not right now. Next up, what do we gotta do? Well, you see how much space we've got right here for our ME system? Tons of space. You know, we could just spread this thing all the way out and, and be none the wiser for it. But I want to cram that whole thing into this area right here. Maybe not the deep storage. I might hide the deep storage down in the basement below here uh, but uh, we'll figure that out but I do need to get the auto crafting setup going um, I'm currently on with basket he may not sleep I don't know if he needs to sleep I've currently got chat turned off so that um, I'm not distracted while I'm recording but um, yeah so we're gonna have to separate out the channels and the pipes or not pipes the cables and the way to do that is by uh, coloring them. So we've got a glass cable. Let's do that. So you can color glass cable and with with dyes, but we're also going to need dense cable. So let's take a look at what dense cable requires. And is that going to... Yeah, there we go. So there's the colored dense cable. So we come in here. Oh, it just uses dyes. So what I, what I need to do actually, colored, oh, covered cable needs a bunch of wool. So uh, maybe it was for the wool in, in that recipe that I was talking about. So we're going to take a look at a wool farm today. I've shown you most of the spoilers. There's a couple that uh, I haven't explained yet, and we'll get to those in the next episode. So out here is where I'm going to be doing the wool farm. We've got our materials in place right here we can take the bow off we might need the stone shovel and we'll definitely need the project bag and i'm just gonna do this real quick with you not uh not anything major but um just do one one little uh what is it example that's what i'm going to do so what we're going to do is we're going to split the wool farm across four different areas and then each area is going to have uh, four sheep in it. And we're going to be using the rancher to do the, uh, the harvesting. So um, we've seen the rancher before. I would have shown you the recipe, but you've seen that in the squid farm. So we'll do that. We've got our rancher right there. And then as we have been doing, um, we're going to be using skystone brick on the on the sides here okay and we're going to be attaching the dark dark oak painted fence right there so I need to get the skystone block down I'll put that in the corners just so I know where I'm going and I don't have to worry about counting on camera with you so then we can pull these off like so and I'm gonna put a gate in to each Oh, I keep seeing that. So it is producing. I was wondering, sometimes it doesn't produce the particle effect, but apparently it is working. So we'll put a gate right there, fences out to the side, like so. And that does connect up. If this was a carpenter's block right here, it would not connect up. And then we're going to get the carpenter's block out 
and the carpenter's hammer that is sitting right here. Okay. Now, I would also, I forgot to bring some glowstone just to give the sheepies a little bit of light. It's not like they really care, but it's nice just to, to do that. So we'll do the carpenter's block like you've seen me do all around. Put the texture in, and there we go. And that's to keep the sheep from jumping out because the block itself is a half block, and so is this. So you can't jump out. But on, on this, the sheep could jump out. We don't want that. So we'll do a carpenter's, carpenter's block there and just hammer it down. And there we go. Now, how are we going to get the sheep over here? Well, that's where these golden lassos come in handy. Let's move some material out of my inventory. And then we'll come back in with the dies in just a bit. I've moved all the sheep over to here. They were... A little closer. Let's just pick up uh, four of these guys. We can't do that one. And there we go. And I think if I remember correctly from my recent look in here, yes, gray is on the list in this one, so we won't have to use that gray dye. We will just use the light gray and the black one. Okay, so then we just throw the sheep in here. We also don't have to dye one of the white ones so we can get rid of that light gray oh they can jump over that Ooh, derpiness okay so let's put let's put these guys back in yeah my bad i forgot all about that let's try that for now just to keep them in man well there you go Nothing nothing ever goes completely right when you're dealing with some of this stuff. So there we go, light gray there and black. Okay, now what we need to do is get our, the next part of the project, and that is some power and some item collection. Do we have any of that here? We've got our Tesseract, and I think the, we're going to keep jumping out, or trying to jump out. That might be a little annoying. But we'll get item, item duct, and some flux duct. And then also, what do we need to do? There's one more thing that I'm missing. Flux duct, item duct, and transfer pipe. Okay, so because we are going to do four sections, we're going to put the Tesseract right here. We're going to set it to Soap Power Plus, Sending Items. Uh, no receiving on nothing on the fluid and yeah receiving on energy and then what we'll do is like that and we'll get the item item transfer pipe like so okay so anytime the rancher goes it's going to throw the item out into the tesseract and then what we'll do is put some flux duct over top here like so okay so there we go it's starting to work we've got a little problem with the half height they might try to jump out of here can they yeah they can still jump so i'll have to come up with something in the meantime for that so we'll just block that all off so they can't get out. And I'm gonna do the rest of these things and then I'll bring you back, okay? So that's kind of how it's gonna go. And um, yeah, the all the wool is gonna go into the Tesseract and go back to the ME system. So anyway, let me finish the rest of these and get all the sheep in place. And then hopefully by that point, I'll have a solution for them jumping out over the top. All right, see you in a bit. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the sheep farm, the wool farm, all done. And this is what I've come up with for the middle. It's the same design as the greenhouse over for the melon, pumpkin, and sugarcane farm. You see that we've got all these sheep now colored with the various dyes that we can have in, in the game. And, and yeah, so they're getting sheared almost as soon as they pop the wool on so there we go 
And now what we need to do is go take a look at our ME system. We can see in here we've still got access to the machinery. And man, that's loud. I might put one of those noise modifiers. Uh, there's some, it's some block. I can't remember which mod adds it, but it uh, helps muffle the sound. So let's come over here to the ME system and see what kind of wool production we're getting. And there we go. Let's see wool all right so we've got a sampling of every color it's not the best at the moment but uh, hopefully with it running whenever i'm on it's not world it's not uh, chunk loaded all the time or anything it's just whenever i'm on but while we're on it should be producing and that means that we can come over here to our to-do lists let's see we got we still need to do a slime farm how about up here? Do we have anything there? No. I think we were going to do... I was going to do wool using a spawner. But no. It's not on here. Do you see it? I don't see it. Nope. Okay. So we've taken care of something that is not on the list. Well, that's cool. And uh, But that's it for today's episode. Hopefully you have enjoyed... If you did, a like is always appreciated. But again, I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to share with me. And any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to leave those in the comment section down below. Or catch me on Twitter again at MCSoapTheGreat. That's going to be it for now, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.